And welcome back everyone. We've mentioned the solar eclipse a few times this morning and if you're looking for a spot to watch it, well, we've j got just the place for me and for you as well. Joining me today is James Wooten with the Houston Museum of Natural Science. Tell us first off what exactly is happening at the museum today. With the museum, we're going to be watching the eclipse. <clears throat> there are two ways to watch it safely. You can use a filter over your telescope or over your eye. We'll have glasses like this Just like available this? for purchase at the museum. Okay. Now, if you don't have a screen, you can also you can do this with your fingers. If you have any hole will show the eclipse. If you have anything oh. with a hole in it like oh. this, that will show the eclipse to all the holes. And so they will project, we'll project the eclipse safely and we will have safe filters to observe the eclipse. What other activities will be there at the museum we, today? Other things to show the power of the sun. Also, we'll demonstrate why you must use this. You'll get to carve your initials on a, a popsicle stick. If you've oh, ever wow. killed ants with a magnifying glass before, you know the power of the sun when you focus it. And don't do that to your eye, but do it to a popsicle stick. And then look safely at the sun with our telescopes. And you guys are expecting a lot of people. We're How is that going to work? Is it regular admission to the museum? Yeah, but the, the outfits are outside the museum. Okay. But therefore, they're free. Oh, nice. And we even have a few free tele planetarium shows first come, first serve during the event. Okay, awesome, awesome. Um, so first off, tell us as well, I know you, you brought a globe here to explain what's the difference uh, about this eclipse from any others. Yes, yeah, see, this is the Earth and the Moon shown to scale. Well, and for the Moon to be right, we have to be 30 feet away. That's how far away the Moon is. So it's hard for the Moon's shadow to reach the Earth. The moon is a little bit farther than normal this time, so the shadow doesn't reach the Earth. It tapers off to a point like right here. Mm -hmm. Therefore, in our sky, the moon is too small to block all the sun. And that's why we can see the ring of fire if you're in the right place instead of a total eclipse. That's very interesting. Yeah. Here in Houston, we're going to see a partial. A partial eclipse. The moon will block 84% of the sun. Wow. It'll get noticeably darker, but not, it'll still be daytime. Mm-hmm. Think of like the sunset date light instead of the full midday light. And so talk about what time will everything start at the museum today? The <clears throat> moon first moves in front of the sun at 1028. Then by 1158, it's covering 84% of the sun. That's right before noon. Then by 137, the moon has moved all the way out of the way and you're back to a normal sunny day. Oh, it's going to be a great event out there. I'm so excited right. to see everything. I know it's a special day for a lot of us. Make sure you use these eclipse glasses or any other form uh, to filter that. You can find all this information and a replay of this segment online at click to Houston.com after the show to be posted under the community section of our website. Thank you so much, James, for joining us. Have a fun day out there. Thank, Thank you, you so much. We'll uh, be right back after the break.